fantastic. Well, great. Now I have my purchase orders themselves, but not much is going to get done unless I get my $900 off to Century. So we're going to need to create a vendor deposit. So I can highlight the Century Furniture purchase order, click my vendor deposit button, or just right click and do new deposit to vendor. That brings us to our deposit, our vendor deposit window. And most of the information is already filled in for us. We've got our purchase order already listed. Century is our vendor. The invoice or deposit date is today's date, which is just fine. Design manager recognizes that Century charges me 50% of a deposit up front. So it's calculating that amount and defaulting the $900 for us. I could pay Century's deposit with a check if desired, or I could put it, charge it to one of my pre-configured credit card accounts, such as our American Express. I do like to point out that I'm not actually charging my American Express account by doing so. I'm simply indicating to Design Manager that I am paying via my American Express or will be shortly. The transaction description is entirely optional, but I find them to be an invaluable tool when I'm going back to look at accounting information that I may have entered in months or even years prior. And it could be something as simple as deposit on sofa frame. And if we click OK, we can now see our deposit entry right beneath our purchase order. Here's our transaction description, deposit on sofa frame, today's date, total amount, and even the, fa the fact that we did indeed charge it to our American Express card.